مکہ واز ہز ہوم ٹاؤن سو اٹ واز ہز رائٹ ٹو لیو ان مکہ ٹو لیو ان مکہ بٹ مکن پیپل نیملی قریش وانٹیڈ ٹو بیکیم ہاسٹائل ٹو ہز مشن دے بیکیم اینیمی آف ہز مشن سو انڈر کمپلشن انڈر کمپلشن ہی مائگریٹ فرام مکہ سو اٹ واز ان جسٹس ان جسٹس بٹ ہی نیور سیٹ دیٹ از ان جسٹس ہی سائلنٹلی مائگریٹ فرام مکہ ٹو مدینہ سائلنٹلی وداؤٹ اینی پروٹیسٹ وداؤٹ اینی کمپلین آلسو اٹ واز اگینسٹ ہز ہز رائٹس اگینسٹ دا پرنسپل آف جسٹس اینڈ دین اینڈ وین ہی ریچڈ مدینہ ہی نیور کمپلین ہی نیور اٹرڈ اے سنگل ورڈ اگینسٹ کریش دیٹ دے کمپیٹڈ ان جسٹس نیور 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 سو پروفٹ نیور بریکٹ بریکٹڈ دا کوشچن آف جسٹس ود مائگریشن وائی پروفٹ only saw that in Medina there are some opportunities which are not available in Makkah. So although it was injustice, although it was against all the principles of justice, but without complaining, without protesting, he saw the opportunities. He saw the opportunities that were available in Medina. So he migrated and tried to avail all those opportunities. This, this was prophetic principle. Then the other example is that after migration, that is Hijra, Quraysh organized some, they attacked Makkah, they show aggression, there was some battle, some battle, like battle of Badr, battle of Uhud. So he wanted to make a settlement between himself and Quraysh. There was a negotiation at the, at Hudaybiya. Hudaybiya. So, during this negotiation, Prophet finalized uh, an agreement. In this agreement, all the justice, all the principles of justice were denied. You can see the provisions attached to the Hudaybiya agreement that it was completely injustice. All the principles of justice were denied in this agreement. It was finalized on unilateral conditions, unilateral conditions. No condition of profit was meted in this agreement. except peace. So here Prophet achieved peace without justice. Here he detached question of peace with the question of justice. In Hudabi agreement, Hudabi agreement is a clear example that Prophet detached, Prophet delinked the question of justice and question of peace. So Prophet adopted a delinking policy. He never bracketed, he never attached the question of 
جسٹس ود دی پیس سو ہی اڈاپٹیڈ پیس فار دا پیس فار دا سیک آف پیس فارمولا آل دو جسٹس وار ڈینائر بٹ ایز ہی واز ایبل ٹو اچیو پیس سو سو ہی اگریڈ اپ سو ہی ٹوک دیٹ سو ہی سو ہی ایکسیپٹیڈ دیٹ ایگریمنٹ سو دس واز دا پالیسی آف دا پرافٹ آف اسلام آل دوز پیپل ہو سے دیٹ گیو اس جسٹس دین وی وی ول گیو یو پیس دے آر انگیج ان وائلنٹ ایکٹیویٹیز سو وین دے آر آسٹ فار پیس دے سے دیٹ ایس وی وانٹ پیس بٹ فسٹ آف آل یو ہیو ٹو گیو اے جسٹس دس از اگینسٹ دی پروفیٹک پالیسی پروفیٹک پالیسی واز دی لنکنگ پالیسی پروفیس آلویز دی لنکڈ جسٹس فرام پیس اے ویری کلیئر ایگزامپل از ہدیبی اگریمنٹ ان ہدیبی اگریمنٹ all the justice principles were denied only one thing was achieved by prophet that is peace so he adopted it he accepted this agreement why because according to the prophetic vision according to the prophetic principle peace is more important than anything else why because peace gives you opportunities every time there are opportunities but to avail those opportunities is required peace according to the quran Quran says, in Namal Osre Yusra, it means that every time there are opportunities, every, in every situation, in every circumstances, there are opportunities. But to avail those opportunities, it requires peace. The Prophet dealing peace with justice. so that he may be, may be able to achieve, so, so that he may be able to avail those opportunities. This was the prophetic policy. So prophetic policy was delinking policy. He always delinked the problems from the opportunities. If you find peace, then you can work, you can struggle, you can avail all those opportunities. And if there is no peace, then it is not possible to avail those opportunities. This was the prophetic policy. So at present, all those people who say that give us give us uh, all those people who say that as yes, we want peace but peace with justice they are not ready to accept peace without justice this kind of thinking is quite quite wrong this kind of thinking is not Not, uh, not Islamic thinking. Then let us take the third aspect, that is justice in daily life. Here I can say that according to Islamic principle, the greatest, uh, I can say that the greatest contribution of Islam in this regard is that Islam made 
میڈ دا جسٹ بہیویئر ایوری ونز اون انٹرسٹ 